Hi everyone, Sal here. It's time for Easter events, which, for better or worse, are reruns of last year events. Remember that all the information in this video comes from the test server and is subject to change before the event goes live. Moreover, some information from the previous year has not yet been cleared. Both events last one week, starting on Wednesday. First, we have the Easter Egg Gift event, where we can paint eggs to obtain rewards. Each egg requires 70 paint to decorate. Doing so grants small random rewards, including artifact essence, spell scrolls, and arcane dust. Moreover, we can pick one of selectable rewards for each egg. The value of the items is not very high, but most of them are useful items for everyone's needs. From highest to lowest value, they are divination vouchers, casting crystals, emblem soul stones, energy scrolls, astro silver, treasure hunt permits, and universal hero tokens. The rest have lower value and should be avoided unless they are really necessary. Most importantly, choose the items you need the most. There is also a main selectable reward for completing each basket of three eggs. The highlight here are two sets of 30 Eternity Adamant. It is worth 3000 diamonds which is almost double the value of the next in line, Void Mithril, at 1600 diamonds. After that, we have 12 SSR unit tokens at 1440 diamonds, 10 Quiet Pearls at 1200 diamonds, and 50 Star Soul Stones at 1000 diamonds. Champion tokens are even worse than that at 900 diamonds, it is difficult to price Arcane Essence at the moment. We are able to complete 5 missions a day, each of which grants us 12 paint for a total of 60. The missions are fully available for free-to-play players. Moreover, we can purchase one daily pack of 10 paint for one diamond. Together with missions, we can obtain 70 paint a day for free, which translates to 490 paint over a week. That's enough to obtain rewards for two full baskets and one additional egg. 60 Eternity Adamant free for everyone. Up to 500 additional paint can be purchased in batches of 50. 200 diamonds each. This is definitely sufficient to complete two additional baskets, but is missing 60 paint toward another one. If you have diamonds to spare and pick the highest value rewards, it's definitely worth it with over 70% discount value on the third basket and over 60% on the fourth one. Money purchases are needed to obtain more from this event. There are several packs available. Daily 1 euro 9 cent pack with 40 paint, 10 euro pack with 200, 33 euro pack with 700, 55 euro pack with 1200, and 90 euro pack with 2000. If you spend full 2000 diamonds on paint, Buying two daily packs is sufficient to complete the fifth basket, with a value of 640 diamonds per euro, which is good by even standards. Purchasing another five daily packs allows completing the sixth basket at 472 diamonds per euro, which is not bad either. Unfortunately, things take a turn for the wars afterwards, with rewards not exceeding 300 diamonds per euro, and dropping sharply as the supply of interesting selection rewards decreases. 
The Holiday Shop also features a number of not special special packs that can only be considered if significant need arises. There is also a completely free to play component, Wishing Easter Egg. As in similar events, we can pick 7 rewards that will be given to us randomly over the next 7 days. The highest value items are Astro Silver, Treasure Hunt Permits, Divination Vouchers, and Energy Scrolls. This leaves three slots for your selection of other items. The Tarot System items are difficult to price, but the random Purple card and Stone of Fate might be a good choice along the artifact essence. There are still SSR Souls, Dragon Steel, Heaven Cast Stones and Ancient Scrolls to consider, but they seem to be an inferior choice unless needed. Finally, this event also includes customizable packs. The 2000 Diamond Pack seems very good in comparison with the one from Tarot System introductory offer. It gives 10 Divination Vouchers, a selection of two random epic tarot cards, two Abyss Trial Tickets or an Orange Artifact, and also one more selection item of small value. There is also an 11 euro pack which reaches value of 497 diamonds per euro with Eternity Adamant, Astro Silver and Emblem Soul Stones. The 65 and 110 euro packs are somewhat worse with maximum values of 300 and 334 diamonds per euro respectively. Primary choices include Orange Tarot Cards, Holy Emblem Tickets and Eternity Adamant in the first pack and Premium Artifact and Eternity Adamant in the second pack. The second event is the Bunny Celebrations event. This is completely free to play with no money purchases, but there are limitations on how many entry tickets can be gathered as it is based on energy spending. We can obtain up to 160 tickets a day for completing 130 normal stages and 15 elite stages. This costs 960 energy, excluding energy required for Abyssden or other daily missions. Considering free daily energy available, Free-to-play players can expect to be able to gather around 115 tickets, while pay-to-win players up to 160 tickets by spending additional diamonds or energy. The event consists of 7 stages, unlocked one by one over 7 event days. Each stage features an event-exclusive gameplay. We can select up to 6 units or skills to use out of 12 available. The selection is limited at the beginning, but more units and skills unlock as the event progresses. Our task is to deploy our units on the left side of the battlefield and protect 4 bunnies from opponents spawning from the tents on the right hand side. The enemies include bunny eating skeletons, zombies, bunny killing hellhounds, bunny obsessed mummies, whites, gorgons, and devils. On our side, we can use mages that generate energy used to deploy units, dendroids that serve as defensive units, 
ice elementals that can freeze our enemies, flame cannon dealing AOE damage, marksman barracks that produce marksmen, wood elves damaging enemies over long range, firebirds dealing raw damage, fire arrow spell, Ballista with high single shot damage and Iron Vehicle, a durable melee unit. Challenging an event stage costs one entry ticket. Completing each stage for the first time will grant us one letter scrap and a moderate number of bunny tails. The stage can then be swept for a small number of bunny tails, ranging from 20 at stage 1, 250 at stage 7. The event also includes an endless mode, unlocked after completing stage 3. In this scenario, mages are unavailable and we start with a fixed amount of energy that never regenerates. It can be used to deploy the units we choose, after which we can only wait until all our bunnies perish. The damage dealt in this mode translates to a ranking position at the end of the seventh day of the event. The rewards include diamonds, Heaven Cast Stones and Spell Scrolls. There are also four bunnies placed on the map each day. Forest Bunny, Sky Bunny, Marsh Bunny and Plains Bunny. Each one offers to exchange a small amount of one resource for another. Behind one of the bunnies, a mysterious store is hidden. It offers some items for diamonds, but their selection is random. The letter scraps we collect are used to uncover Dream's Guidance, which gives us an orange emblem box upon completion. There are also event missions that grant us diamonds, bunny tails, Heaven Cast Stones and Divination Vouchers. They include clearing event stages, endless mode stages, obtaining letter scraps and finding a number of bunny tails. At this point it is uncertain if event tickets carry over to the next day. If it is the case, then we can use all our tickets on the last day for maximum sweep rewards. From now on, two scenarios will be considered. One with daily usage of all tickets and one in which all of them are used on the final day. In the first scenario, free-to-play players can gather at least 31,500 bunny tails, while pay-to-win players can get 42,600. These numbers rise to 43,500 and 59,000 respectively in the second scenario. The bunny tails can be spent in the forest store for event rewards. These include commander tokens, premium artifact, star soul stones, dark priest component and divination vouchers. Probably the most interesting item is the premium artifact, since these have been in short supply recently. However, its availability for free-to-play depends on the entry ticket scenarios described above. Value-wise, the best deal is offered on Astro Silver. Dark Priest Component and Void Metro at roughly 3 tails per diamonds. Then we have Commander Tokens, Star Soul Stones, and Divination Vouchers. 
at about 3.7 tails per diamond. Finally, at around 4.6 tails per diamond, we have a premium artifact, universal hero token, and gold key. Other options are generally inferior. Hopefully, we can get a confirmation on the event ticket mechanics soon. I hope you enjoy these events. Have fun and stay safe.